back at it with your favorite staycation set up trying to catch up these cheaters live on your radio we got Michaela on the line she thinks her boyfriend Peter might be cheating on her after seeing Bumble on his phone so Michaela that's a sure sign yeah so I'm pretty sure he's cheating I've seen notifications pop up on his phone mm -hmm. I mean I know what that little icon looks like <laughs> did you guys meet on Bumble yeah okay so yeah. you see this notification are you bringing this up to him or like what happens next oh hell yeah you know we met on there we i thought he deleted it i deleted mine and i asked him about it and he swore it was nothing it's just a notification and so of course it started a huge argument so i got the hell out of there he sent me flowers to apologize and he promised that he deleted it and assured me it was no big deal. And then I was over at his place uh, recently and while his dumbass is in the bathroom, he's got his phone out there and it pops up again. Oh, oh, wow. Now here's the thing, I'm not familiar with Bumble. How does this work? If he's getting notifications, is it because he's opened up that dialogue with that person or is this just a person trying to hit him up but not necessarily he hit up first? Well, you have to match with somebody to engage. And also, once you match, you only have 24 hours to message each other. So if he's getting a message, then he must have matched with someone within the last ah, day. Oh, right, yes. right. And he lied about it. He said he deleted it. Right. And that, to me, that's where I'm just convinced. Michaela, at this point, is it almost just like closure for you? Like you just need the full story from this guy? Because, I mean, you have a lot of evidence. Yeah, you could like totally, yeah. as Gina's saying, you could just break up with him at this point. I want to catch him red-handed, you know? I want him to have to admit it. Okay. Well, we're going to do the staycation setup. We're going to call your man Peter, or your man as of now, and uh, offer him a free romantic hotel stay, and then Nisha you're going to ask that most important question. Who would you like to bring on this free romantic weekend stay? Um, and I'm going to be out of town this weekend, and so I thought it would be the perfect time for you all to pitch this to him this weekend. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, perfect. All right, we'll do that for you. Uh, let's all find out together. Ladies and gentlemen, we're doing this live on your radio. Is Peter cheating on Michaela? We're all going to find out up next with that staycation setup. All right, it's the morning mess. Inside the staycation setup, trying to get these cheaters off these streets. Listen, uh, we spoke to uh, Michaela, who met her boyfriend Peter through Bumble. Well, when she started hearing notifications at his apartment, uh, wait a minute. Did you not delete the dating app? And Michaela, you hit him up right then and there about it, and he promised he would. Yep, he promised he was going to delete it, and he did not. He did not, and you heard it again another day. Yeah. And this is not enough for you. You feel like he is cheating. You want the audio proof. You got friends listening right now. Hmm. Right. Well, we're hoping you don't get audio proof, right? Maybe maybe he does pick you. Mm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's fair. You told us you're going to be out of town this weekend, so I'm going to position the romantic weekend stay that way. He shouldn't even accept the offer. But, hey, listen, we're going to see once and for all who he's cheating with, okay? Yes, thank you. Hello? Hello, am I speaking with Peter? Uh, yes, yeah, speaking. Well, Peter, good morning. My name is Jonathan. I'm calling from the Aurora Hotel with great news. You've been selected as the grand prize winner of our free romantic weekend giveaway. We're going to put you up in our penthouse suite with the honeymoon package. I was calling just to confirm details, but I wanted to congratulate you because you're the grand prize winner. Uh, no, no, I, I'm not the grand prize winner. I'm pretty sure you got the wrong number. <laughs> My apologies about that, Peter. I just have your name and number here. You were randomly selected. We were actually looking for somebody to come through this weekend and give an honest review on Google and Yelp. It is actually who we partnered up with, and it looks like you've done reviews with them in the past. Um, I, I mean, I, I have, but, like, I, you know, I'm, I'm not interested in spending money at, at, at your hotel this weekend. That's uh, completely understandable, Peter. I want to assure you this is complimentary, so there's no deposits, fees, or taxes. We do have that availability for this weekend only, if that's okay with you and you have availability. Sure, let's, let's do it. Okay, well, then let's get started with your reservation, Peter. Thank you so much for the help. Now, with this romantic weekend stay, we start this off with a personalized note. It is addressed to your guest of honor. It's a great way to set the mood for your romantic weekend. So if you have a special message, go ahead and let me know whenever you're ready. Um, uh, how about, like, uh, this is how I treat my queen. Okay, I have that down for you. So, Peter, my next question is... Who would you like to bring on this free romantic weekend stay that is happening this weekend? 
Let me know what the guest of honor's full name is, and I'll write that down for you. Sure, her name's Lily s Who the f*** is Lily, Peter? Uh, what? Who's Lily, Peter? Hey, Peter, we do legally gotta let you know you're live on the radio. We're the morning mass with your girlfriend, Michaela, on the line. Your f***ing little queen? Who is Lily, Peter? What are you talking about? What we're talking about is that you're clearly cheating because Michaela here told us she's going to be out of town for the weekend and that you also never deleted Bumble off your phone. So is Lily the person that's been messaging you? Hang on. We dealt with that. I deleted it. I deleted it all. I saw the notifications. You never deleted that. Look just a big misunderstanding just kind of across the board it's not a misunderstanding if you said another woman's name well how, how does how does michaela know that you didn't set her up listen by peter, me to say that? peter stop oh it oh my god we, we told you it was for this weekend we know she was out of town this weekend so obviously you wanted to take someone else look this is a <laughs> joke like you guys calling this me up this man with... is a liar <laughs> Tell us who Lily is. You literally said, I'm going to treat my queen this way, and you have Lily s***. Who is that? How can you Obviously say that? Obviously a made-up name. This is insane. Oh, my God. So, Michaela, I'm just going to say, just for your own peace of mind, we've done this so many times, I'm going to just let you know. I don't think he's ever going to admit it. No. I hope, at least, you've got what you need from this. He's cheating on you, okay? Yes. We have counseling services. I can offer that to you individually. But outside of that, is there anything else that you want to say to Peter? No, I can't even, I don't even know what to say. Just f*** you, Peter. Peter, did he die? Where are you at, Peter? Hello? Peter? Oh, he either, he either died or he hung up. I think he oh. did. Michaela, he got that Tristan Thompson energy. Oh, my God. Don't, don't Chloe his ass, man. Don't oh keep taking him back. Oh, my God. Don't do that, man. A wise man once said the best way to get over somebody, I guess, to get back with him. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. No, that's Chloe. No, the best way to get over no. somebody... Is to get under somebody. So you know what? Go through your go through your celly and uh, find out who you could uh, you know nuzzle up with this weekend. You know what I mean? Uh, right. I guess I'm downloading Bumble again. Oh, <laughs> girl. Come on. Maybe. What is that? Is that a bee? The is best way to get over right? somebody is to be under someone else. Oh. <laughs> she likes it. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Hold on one second, girl. Oh, I'm Lord. gonna go be a little bee. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's the morning match. It's time for another one. It's time for the staycation setup. Listen, man, we got Henry on the line. Uh, Henry's worried that his girlfriend, Gigi, might be cheating on him because of a joke that um, her sister made. So, huh. uh, Henry, good morning. Hey, good morning. So, what was the joke, and why do you automatically assume that your lady's uh, cheating on you now? So, we were all at a bar. It was me, a friend of mine, Gigi, and her little sister. And, you know, we were getting pretty drunk, and our kind of main goal was to try to, like, see if we could hook up uh, her little sister with my friend because they're both single. Oh. And, you know, we're just sort of all talking about, like, what our type is. And Gigi is sort of, like, you know, like, hugging on me, saying, like, oh, you're my exact type. But her little sister just kind of, like, scoffed at it and said, please, you know damn well, anytime you're drunk, you'll touch any dude with the d- oh. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Is that just, like, sisterly, well, you know... Banter? Right. <laughs> yeah, so... You know, normally I got pretty thick skin. I'm okay, like, brush off jokes. But, like, once she said that, you know, things just all started to add up in my head. But, you know, not in a good way. So do you think that when your girlfriend is drunk, she's handsy with other men? She tends to go out a lot without me. And, you know, she (laughs) says... So she's not cheating in front of you is what you're saying? Yeah, but at the same time, she... She says she's going out with her friends, and I never thought about it because, you know, she says, oh, I need girl time, which I completely did because I need guy time. But when she does go out, you know, like, very, very often, she'll just sort of go completely MIA to, like, 1 or 2 p.m. the next day. Oh. Wait, 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 hold on. Do you guys live together, or are you guys dating and kind of go over each other's houses? We're, we kind of go to each other's houses, you know, like, okay. it's, we're not living together or anything. But at the same time, you know, she's just not answering my text right. at yeah after hearing that kind of remark from her sister like <laughs> I, I, i'd be thinking some things too yeah, little sister's a snitch what the hell <laughs> yeah uh, we heard enough henry what we're gonna do is do the staycation setup uh, we're gonna call your girlfriend up and tell her she's won a free romantic hotel stay and simply ask her who she wants to put on that reservation obviously we hope she says your name henry if she doesn't then uh, we're just gonna eavesdrop in the conversation if you don't mind yeah okay 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is All Up Next, live on your radio, staycation setup time with the morning mess. Okay, we back at it with the staycation set up. The morning mess here, we, uh, we're we catching up with Henry, who suspects his girl of cheating on him. So, Henry, you guys were all hanging out, your, your girlfriend, some friends, her sister, uh, at a bar, tossing a shoe back. She kind of spilled the beans of something about her sister, and the joke was that every guy is her type of guy after a few drinks. Yeah. My main concern is just the fact that she does deal with her friends a lot, and uh-huh. I'm cool with that. It's just that she just sometimes won't return my texts or calls until, like, the next afternoon. So that right. seems just a little bit sus to me. Well, let's test her out, man. Let's call Gigi up. Tell her she's won a free romantic hotel stay. Who is she going to put on the reservation? Let's all find out together. Here we go. Hello? Hello. Am I speaking with Gigi? Uh, Yeah. Well, Gigi, good morning. My name is Jonathan. I'm calling from the Aurora Hotel with great news. You've been selected as the grand prize winner of our free romantic weekend giveaway. We're going to put you up in our penthouse suite with the honeymoon package. I was calling just to confirm details, but I wanted to congratulate you because you're a grand prize winner. Um, I didn't enter anything. How did you get my info? Oh, my apologies. I can break this down for you. It's really easy. So we actually partnered up with Google and Yelp. We're doing that so we can get some honest reviews now that we've opened up this new location. So we're offering this stay to you in exchange for reviews on those respective websites just to build our presence online. It's completely free. I'm not paying for anything. That is correct, Gigi. No deposits, fees, or taxes. We just need your good word that you're going to review us on Google and Yelp afterwards. And I can actually get started with your reservation right now just so I can help address any other concerns you might have. Okay. I mean, listen, if it's free, you're not playing with me. I sure am not, honey. So let's go ahead and get started, okay? Yeah, for sure. Okay, so Gigi, with this romantic weekend stay, we actually start this off with a personalized note. It is addressed to your guest of honor. It is from you, and it's a great way to set the mood for your romantic weekend and give them a nice message. Take all the time you need, but I'd like to write something custom down whenever you're ready. Um, whiskey makes you frisky with like a winky sign okay so my next question for you Gigi is who would you like to bring on this free romantic weekend stay I just need to get your guest of honor's full name for us to continue Edward wow Gigi hey Gigi really quick we legally gotta let you know you're live on the radio we're the morning mess Um, yeah we have your boyfriend Henry on the line you literally told me, don't worry, my sister was just being dramatic and joking, bullshit. Baby, I love you, I swear, it's not what you think. You are seriously so good to me. I Listen, baby, I promise it will never happen again. There you go. It definitely isn't gonna happen again, because we're done. I'm... Ooh, oh! That's right. <gasps> Henry, what if I told you you can do it back to me? <laughs> she gave you a get-out-of-jail-free card at this oh, point. Why don't God. you get back with her and cheat on her? I love you so much, seriously. <laughs> really? You love me so much that you're f***ing other guys, and you're making them do romantic getaways and put little cards like with. I literally do it as soon as she said whiskey. I don't even drink whiskey. Like I drink whiskey. <laughs> Joey, you're also married. So, yes. honey, oh, listen. Yeah. At this point, I do just want to say, if you want it, we have a counselor. I'm not sure if you're interested in that, Henry. No. So, Gigi, do you have a closet where you live? What? Yeah. Go hang this up. Joey. Oh, wow. I haven't did that one in such a long time. I've never even heard that one. There you go. You could use that one. (laughs) Henry, man, this girl's trifling. He trifling. Joey. I literally can't believe, like, her response is, oh, what if you just cheat on me a bag? I, I, I'm not that type of guy. I would have done that, though. I would have. I would have done that. Well, yeah, but this is not about you, Joey. It's about Henry, and I'm very sorry that that happened to you, sir. This is, I guess good in the long run but i found out now yeah yeah and what's wrong with whiskey i like whiskey but it's not supposed to make you frisky with other people oh that's right hey henry um i'm sure man i'm sure they're lined up at this point the lady's probably listening to the show right now like oh man he available who's that first person you're gonna call henry because you dodged a bullet i mean i did say her little sister would say go so let's see what happens there <laughs> all right i'll let you and joey figure this one out together yeah you doing tonight man i need oh. some tips from you man oh just in case gosh. Just, okay how fine is your little sister you fine there's no reason i have to hide this now she's really fine yeah oh, all right you there know you what go. i'm gonna put you both on hold you guys can talk about your now ex's sister in private and maybe <laughs> i'll throw in a counseling number you know there. what they say about little sister 
I don't want to know what they say, Joey. Okay. Uh, I'll talk to you off <laughs> <out> there. <laughs> <laughs> now back with the morning mess. Okay, your morning mess is time for your favorite prank calls. Can we say good morning to Riley? Good morning. Good morning. Morning, everybody. Ms. Riley, we can't wait to hear this one. We hear you need some revenge on your boyfriend. Uh, I guess we're embarrassing you at Victoria's Secrets. Yeah, like, let me just tell you. First of all, I thought my boobs were, like, getting a little bigger. And I thought it was time for a new bra. So my boyfriend and I were, were at the mall anyway. So I was like, let's, let's go to a Victoria's Secret. No big deal. We get there. And, like, one of the ladies offers to measure my milk makers. <laughs> And I did. I went up to size. I'm now a 36 D. Beautiful. Slow clap to applause. <laughs> yeah. And then my boyfriend, the <laughs> asshole, says, ha, 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 well, that's way too big for you. And he's asking me if I'm going to stuff it. He's <sighs> screaming like that doesn't fit you. This was all happening, like, at Victoria's Secret? At Victoria's Secret. Like, oh, in the store, on. like, like the customers and the employees looking uncomfortable, and I'm, like, bright red. So I just left. I left. Didn't buy them? Nope. No, I'm, I'm shoving into my 34 BC over here. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, was there any possibility maybe they measured you wrong and the bra was a little big, or? Carla, these are professionals at Victoria's Secret. Oh, oh, you're oh, right. Oh. Obviously, this guy's just disrespectful, and I need proof. That's uh -oh. <laughs> No, so obviously you want to get back at him because he embarrassed you and you want him to embarrass him live on the radio. What are we thinking for the prank call? What, what's your idea? Okay, so he's like really, really super self-conscious about how small his hands are. <laughs> yeah, so I want not to call him and I, I want him to pretend he's from a plastic surgeon's office. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to give him information about his hand enlargement surgery. Hand <laughs> enlargement. Oh, I love this. Maybe his hands look smaller because your boobs are getting bigger, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I know, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to pretend I'm from a, uh, a plastic surgeon's office and uh, make fun of his small hands and, and maybe offer him a, a hand oh, Maybe he what? wants... Wow. <laughs> <laughs> are you for real? Yeah, to enlarge his hands, obviously. Oh, my God. Because he has God. small ones. What are you thinking of? Well, it sounds like you're making something happen, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nacho's Revenge up next. We're going to have fun with this one, baby. <laughs> it's time for Nacho's Revenge. Nacho! Okay, morning, Mets. Decide your favorite prank calls. Ladies, have you been out with your man? He embarrassed you out in public, and uh, you want to get him back? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. There we go. So we caught up with Riley. Her man embarrassed her at Victoria's Secrets, uh, making fun of your, your baby feeders there, Riley. <laughs> Yep, I've had it. And in public. <laughs> and in public. So you realize you were a little blessed in the chest and maybe your bra was getting a little tight, so you went to Victoria's Secret to man, go bra shopping. You went up a size higher. Round of applause for that. Ooh. Yeah. Hey, hey. And your man was not believing that you were and then started making fun that maybe you weren't filling in these bras that you were trying to try on. And he is in for it now. We need to get him back. Yes, I love your idea. So he's insecure about his hands, that he has small hands. So that's what we're going to play off. I love it. <laughs> uh, guys, she wants me to pretend I'm from a plastic surgeon. Um, We ready? Yes. yes. Here we go. Hello? Hello, this is Nasha Chavez. It's Nasha with two O's from Hands on Plastic Surgeons. Is this Clinton? Uh, yeah, this is he. But I think you got the wrong number. Nonsense, Clinton, your prime practical doctor referred you to me. All right, so what's this call about? Well, Clinton, as a surgeon, I wanted to ask if you would let me put my hands on your intimate parts. Oh, what? what did you say to me? Uh, well, yes, let's let's get handsy with your intimate parts, your, your, your hands. My hands? Yes, your hands. There's nothing more intimate than holding hands, am I wrong? Uh, I, I guess. Okay, okay. Well, a little birdie told me that yours are... A little bit tiny. Is this true? I don't know. I don't know what's going. I don't have time. To, I gotta go to work, man. Uh, so you you have to go to your job. Yeah. Uh, uh, speaking of job, this hand job's for you, okay? Oh. What the? F uh, you, well, you heard of a nose job and and boo jobs, correct? Yeah, but. Yeah. The, well, this is a hand job. I'm really good at it, Clinton. Look, I don't think we're on the same page here because what I'm talking about doesn't have any kind of surgery involved. <laughs> Well, the hand job I give are surgeries to enlarge your hands. I, uh, I have your measurements here, and as someone with below average size hands, you are the perfect candidate, Clinton. All right, dude, my hands are fine. I'm not even what? sure what you're claiming. I don't know how you got my measurements. 
Well, I got them from your primary doctor, and it says here, tiny handed man, perfect for a hand job. Oh. So that's why we're here at this point. Huh? Look, I have normal sized hands for a man. Shh, 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 Clinton. <laughs> Let me handle your problem. <laughs> get it? Handle? Yeah, I f***ing get it, but I don't want to get on your f***ing hand surgery. But I can add at least an inch to your, your little problem. I don't have a problem. Well, your doctor described your hands as Chucky doll hands. A little bit dangerous, but a little weedy hands. <laughs> I don't give a f*** what it says. I'm never going to let you get near my f***ing hands, you weirdo. So do you like your small hands because it makes other parts of your body look bigger? Is that where we're at in life right now? Why? Look, I've been very f***ing respectful huh? because you're a doctor and What? But you're being a f***ing fool, dude. My hands are <laughs> Does she actually put us up to this prank call? Babe, you piece fun of my boob size. How do you like when people do it back to you? What? She has great <laughs> boobs. You, like, I love I love her boobs. You know, it, she knows I'm insecure about my hands, man. This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, but babe, I love your tiny hands. <laughs> They're not tiny. Let's <laughs> <laughs> go! Now back with the morning mess. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for your favorite prank calls. It's time for Nacho's Revenge. Can we say good morning to Miley? Morning. morning. Good morning. Good morning, you. So we are hearing that you need revenge on your hubby, Hunter. I guess he's allowing your, your kids to drink energy drinks? Yeah. Oh, okay, God. how old are the kids, first and foremost? Okay, so my kids are five and seven. Oh, they're babies. That's a no. I got a five and a seven-year-old, and I don't think I would want them having energy drinks. What's going on? No. Okay, so they started this cute little pop warner soccer team, and, you know, he usually takes them to practice, mm -hmm. but sometimes I take them. So the other day I was taking my kids because my husband was busy, and they asked me if they could have their special juice, and I was like, <laughs> what? Not the special juice. And they said, it's in the trunk. So I looked in the trunk, and it's freaking energy drinks. Oh, man. <laughs> and I asked them how often they get to drink them, and they said, it's like a usually a little cup before practice. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm pissed. Right. Oh. My husband says, oh, it's only a few sips. Like, I, I don't care. One sip is too many. So I need not go to get his ass back. Like, I will get his ass. Um, yeah, you know what? Um, parenting 101, parents listening right now, you can tell your kids, and you can just get, like, fruit punch and make it and put it in a little... That's a really good idea. Pretend. And just pretend. There you go. Lie to your kids. Yep, it works for me. <laughs> as much as I can. <laughs> but, like, energy drinks, and he does it all the time before mm -hmm. practice, you said? Yeah, so he gives it to them before practice. <laughs> and But, you know, like... We always have energy drinks and stuff around because my husband is a huge gym guy, mm -hmm. and, like, people send him energy drinks and pre-workout stuff all the time. Okay. So I was kind of thinking, Nacho, if you want to call him and pretend like you are want him to be an energy drink ambassador, like, he won't think that's weird at all. Okay. Really? <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, because people ask him to do that stuff all the time. All right. Sounds believable. Sounds believable. Okay. I just need his number, and uh, we're going to teach him a lesson this morning, Okay. That sounds wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Nacho's Revenge. It's up next, Morning Man. It's time for Nacho's Revenge. Nacho! <laughs> okay, Morning Man's here inside the Nacho's Revenge, your favorite prank calls. Uh, listen, we have spoke to Miley. She's upset. She just found out that her husband has given her kids, now, mind you, they're five and seven years young, some sips of energy drink before their soccer practice. Uh, Miley, I'm with you. I got a five and seven year old. We do not do this with our kids, and we don't let them drink energy drinks. So. How, how long, by the way, did they come down from that high of energy drinks? Well, they don't sleep very well after practice, and I've been wondering why. Aww. You're not too happy with the hubs? Not at all. Okay, you have a great idea to get him back this morning. He's a gym rat. He takes these energy drinks. So, shall we have some fun with her husband making him think that he won, he won like a chance to be an ambassador? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> Here we go, y'all. Hello? Hello, I speak with these super strong hunters. Uh, this Hi, is Hunter. Hunter. Oh. This is Nacho Chavez. This is Nacho with your old calling from Fahrenheit Energy Drinks. Uh, Fahrenheit? Mm-hmm. I, I don't think I've heard of you guys. Oh. Well, have you heard of Celsius <laughs> Drinks? 
Yeah, of course. Well, we're their brother brand. Fahrenheit. Oh. Keeping it hot <laughs> at the gym. Uh, okay. So, what are you contacting me about? Well, we wanted to tell you some fun mega alpha facts about our drink to see if you want to be an ambassador for Fahrenheit. Oh, all right. Sounds exciting. Yeah, let's, let's hear it. Okay, so first things first. Just crush the can right now. Okay, you ready, Hunter? <laughs> Right on, man. Yeah. Uh, good to know you drink your own product. Yes. <laughs> here at Fahrenheit, our theme song is, it's getting hot in here, so take off all your clothes. <laughs> okay. Sounds about right for the brand. Yep. <laughs> You'll also love to know that our drink provides energy for up to 95 hours. 95 hours? Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> that sounds extreme. Speaking of extreme, we have our extreme Fahrenheit drinks. They're guaranteed to have you lifting 100 pounds just with your little pinkies. <laughs> I don't know if that's an accurate statement you can make. <laughs> and another extreme thing is the payment you'll receive as an ambassador, Hunter. All right, now we're talking. What is it? Uh, well, you will get paid $100,000. Dollars? Cans of extreme Fahrenheit <laughs> lava flavor energy drink cans. <laughs> All right, man. I don't, uh, I don't think our brands align. Um, you have a good day now, okay? Hold on. Wait, wait. We have another opportunity oh. that is more better than we promise you, okay, Hunter? Okay. We have a new drink called Fahrenheit for kids. Oh, my God. For kids? Yes. I don't know if giving my kids energy drinks that keeps them up for 95 hours. No, 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 Hunter. Listen, this is the opposite of that, okay? The opposite? Yes, it puts them to sleep so you can go work out more. Amazing, <laughs> am I right? <laughs> All right, I'm going to go now. It's getting hot in here, ah! so give this drink to your kids. <laughs> Stop f calling me, man. I'm yeah! not... <laughs> Hunter. Who is this? <laughs> it's the morning mess. We're actually a morning show. We're live on the radio. Your wifey Miley put us up to this prank call. She's on the line right now. Really? <laughs> yeah. Miley, you want to explain like why we're pranking them this morning? Oh, so that you finally realize that letting our kids have energy drinks is bad. <laughs> no, yeah, babe. I got it. Really? I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure.